Another nifty feature on Pharonix Insight is the ability to limit what websites your students go to. Uh, you may want to restrict web access entirely, in which case it's as simple as clicking this restrict internet access button um, up here at the top. It'll ask you if you actually want to do that and if you click continue, um, students will no longer be able to browse um, the internet until you click this limit web button again. Um, now if you want to be slightly uh, more selective in what you're blocking. Um, there is a little drop down here in the limit web button um, that allows you to configure an allow list and a block list. Um, in this case, I can say that I only want to allow certain websites like Apex Learning or Compass, you know, math.com, um, other educational websites. Um, and I can put those in, in list form here and students will only be able to use those websites. And if they try to leave those websites to go elsewhere, um, it's just going to throw up an error and not let them go anywhere. Um, similarly, there's a blocked website section. Um, in the block the following website section, um, you can adapt, add some additional websites that maybe the firewall um, isn't restricting access to um, as your students find those throughout the year. Um, and this is just another line of defense for you as the teacher um, so that students aren't getting distracted um, over the course of, uh, of a class period. Um, so let's say I want to use these allowed websites. I can click apply. Um, and now when I click that limit web button again, um, it's only going to let students go to those individual websites. Um, and again, if I want to take that off, all I have to do is click that button once again, um, and they'll have access to, to what they usually would um, anytime they log on to a student computer.